Hi, I'm glad you could come visit me today. Now, before we get started, uh, there are some things about this video series that you might need to know. So now down in the comments section, there is a link to the video with all the context. So just go down there, click that, watch that video, and then come back here. Um, the only thing not in that video that you need to know is that the format's a little bit different now, and you'll figure it out as we go. So, um, on to the food. Okay, Theo, before we start cooking, I need you to roll this die. Okay. See how it's gonna go. Oh, it's in the cup. I cannot believe I have to be the adult for three people. Hey, it's a 19. Oh, yeah. Sushi on. What? Stop doing your two lingo. I gotta make a video, Theo. Stop. I got here first. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Switching Up Old Habits. We have Theo on the pan. What are you, what are you making <laughs> over here? I sure am. <laughs> oh, boy. We, we got Megan on the, on the on counter duty. <laughs> and, and we have me on video. I, I have not vegetables, so we're trying a mushroom. And Well, we're trying mushrooms in stir fry. I'm not just gonna eat a whole mushroom raw. It's fungus, it's not a vegetable. What? It's fungus, it's not a vegetable. I'm a pretty fun guy. Mm. I never said fun guy. Welcome to the Theo ear can. Oh, that that was nice. That was. Mm. I didn't. I didn't expect company. I didn't clean. <laughs> this is our house, Theo. No. That feels like it's in my ear. It's not in your ear. It feels like this it is. would be in your ear. Good. <laughs> this is some nice eggs you're cracking. Thanks. They're free range. <laughs> no, they're not. They're in a carton right there. You piece of shit. Very <laughs> <laughs> From when me and Theo made pretzels, leave us alone. I got out the pretzels, you made the pretzels, let's be real. That's a good point. Now you wash the eggshells, and then you crush them up and you put them outside for the birds. In the winter, they don't get enough protein, so my mom told me that. <laughs> or you can put them in potted plants. They don't go anywhere, but it saves you a trip outside. Throw an egg tree. Egg tree? <laughs> How dare you? There's already an eggplant. Eggs, eggs only. Ain't that that rural dating app? <laughs> <laughs> so take me back to Constantinople. No, you can't go back to Constantinople. Been a long time gone. You've seen Constantinople, Constantinople one more time. Noble. I'm gonna turn that penis into Why a penis. Constantinople, <laughs> get the works. That's nobody's business but the Turks. I'm not playing your fill in the blank game. I didn't sign up to be on. Do you know the lyrics? <laughs> Y'all remember when that was a show for like two minutes? How dare you, and Megan? Me Megan. Megan, Megan, I'm gonna have to put like. You did it first. No, I didn't. You didn't want from me. You're gonna do Megan, that. I'm holding the camera. I control everything that the people I'm also see. I'm holding a camera. No, but you're not. You don't have a YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna get them demonetized. Yeah. This is I'm gonna have to put Archibald Asparagus oh. over those. You <laughs> <laughs> no, Future one? Ethan, put Jono or Archibald Asparagus over all of those middle fingers. Damn. And now you are. Egg. Egg. <laughs> I meant stirring it. Egg. Egg. Anything that you want to tell the people at home about how to cook this, Chef? Epstein didn't kill himself. Okay. You, go, uh, you just put it... Right on in there. <laughs> Listen, mushrooms, butter, and egg. You heat them up, they smell good. People assume you know what you're doing. They're like, something smells good. Thanks, I broke the bird board over the hot place. That's it. Uh, what, what kind of spices are we gonna put on these over here? In the... Um, well, I'm working with your spice cabinet. So, so we got... okay, hold on. Let's give people a tour. No. Here's our spice cabinet. We have it's all vinegar. Vinegar. Stop. I put Pan. some soy sauce in it, but you threw out all those packets the other week when you said oh. we don't even need to keep this. And I said keep it because I'm gonna come cook here, and you were like we don't need it. And I said it's food, and you threw it out. Now you're gonna have bland stir fry, and you have nobody to blame but yourself. Well, we could find something to put on it. Mm. I usually put some soy sauce. Uh, a little bit of dill gives like a sharp flavor. Um. I just started growing time. I would probably put some of that in here. I have a clock in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> have some some uh, 
Cupcake liners. We can maybe throw that in there. We can put little. it in the cupcake liners and now it's smaller and we can charge more. People love yeah. small things. Cracked black pepper, some dill. There's pepper up there. Pe what the fuck is this? What? What? Why did you only open the big side? No, uh, I taped it. <laughs> what is happening to this family? Oh, you. I wasn't meant to go this far. I taped all Nobody of them. was supposed to get hurt. Why did you tape all of them? I got bored. Till so someone you decided gets to hurt. be like mildly self-destructive? Yes. This is unconfirmed. Possibly allergic to shellfish. But I really like crab raccoon, so I'm gonna eat it. I just make sure it's the last thing I eat that day, and then I chase it with like four Benadryl and I put it in God's hands. If I die, I die. Just put me in the trash. Sorry, sorry about all the shellfish. Just throw it in the back. Sorry about all the crabs. Just put them in the trunk. <laughs> Seaweed is always greener than somebody else's lake. You got my. You gotta do this to make sure there's no wasps in it. It'll scare them right out. So, so tell me the ingredients list again for our viewers at home who are keeping score. Now I did add wasps, and that might be where I messed up. We got. You're right. It calls for bees. How foolish of you! Absolutely. <laughs> Show us the tap, Meg. The bee. Bee. Very good. The vegetables are just like a mix, frozen uh, blend. So you can also put like portado in there, or carrot, or. Onion. Oh, I very much often will put in there. Okay. And then it's just rice. You gotta start the rice first because it takes forever to cook. Um, and then there's some mushrooms in there, locally grown, bought at an independent uh, grocery store. Tell them, tell the Walden family that they can fight me personally. Uh, and then you do the egg last and you just kind of pour it in there and chop it up with your spoon to get that good egg fried aesthetic. Don't pour it over the rice, because I tried that once by accident, and it just like individually coated all the rice and basically made like a thousand tiny mediocre hush puppies. Hey, don't blame me that I don't know how to use spices. Your people colonized half the world for spices. You owe it to the rest of them to <laughs> use them. Hi, hello. What kind of poster boy for eugenics looking at? <laughs> Is it done? Ah. Stop, break down. Megan, you ready for mushroom? Mushroom. Mushroom. We love mushroom. Okay, so. No further questions. I think that Constantinople is a really good song. It was. <laughs> and Theo thinks. What song did you just say? I said the Mesopotamians is good. The best okay. They Might Be Giants um, song is. The James K. Polk <laughs> that's, the, that's the question for everyone. Uh, please, down in the comments, let us know who your favorite member of They Might Be Giants is. No, that's so James K. Polk was it? Yes. Yeah. Who's your favorite president? Okay, so I'm trying my first match room. Is this a good one? <laughs> they didn't tell me what kind they were, it just came as a medley. Why? Okay. Why does it taste a little bit like chicken? There is a mushroom called chicken of the woods. That might be it. Is that it? I don't know. It came in a mess. <laughs> I don't even know that they're technically all edible. <laughs> hey, here's a cool cooking tip. If you're tired of boiling water for your spaghetti, you can boil a bunch at the beginning of the week and then freeze it so you can use it later. Just heat it up. <laughs> so take me back to Constantinople, but you can't go back to Constantinople. Been a long time gone, Constantinople. Why Constantinople get the works? And nobody's visible the Turks. Megan, stop! I will kill you! <laughs> Megan! I don't want to shoot! <laughs> Megan, do you like it? Tastes good? I'm proud of you. <laughs> My final conclusion on mushrooms is that they are really good. And Theo is a very good cook.
it, I, I cannot describe the taste of it though. Like, earthy. yeah, it's like very earthy. Um, it's like a chicken, but buried. Like someone just buried a chicken and then dug it up. It's like take the taste of potting soil and then subtract the taste of matcha from it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I really like to try mushroom in like, uh, I don't know, like a mushroom uh, Swiss situation maybe. I don't know, like a burger. Cool. Could be. Um, yeah. Uh, try a mushroom. Let me know what you think. You should clarify what kind of mushroom. I will not. All right, well, now we're on to the happiness index part of the video. Uh, normally I do this while walking around outside, but it's cold as hell, so I'm not doing that. So I'm just gonna kinda sit in my room and ramble a bit, and we will edit it and hope that everything goes well. We'll see. I kinda just wanted to talk about how important it is to find a place where you just feel like you fit in and kind of just are happy at, even if it's like a job or anything, it's important to know that you're valued. Now, I work for Panera. Um, I've worked at a lot of different places. I worked in a movie theater for a long time. I worked for a couple of restaurants. I worked in a factory for a hot second. And uh, honestly, no place has made me feel just so valued. Like I loved working at all the places that I worked at before. It's different at Panera, like, it doesn't it doesn't seem like i'm just an employee like like i'm treated a little bit like family like when i make mistakes or anyone makes mistakes you're just treated with so much care like people understand that employees make mistakes sometimes and instead of shouting at them or yelling at them about everything they take the time to go out of their way to show you how to do it correctly so that way you don't make the mistake again. And they don't, they don't berate you for making mistakes. Like they understand that you're a human and you are working a minimum wage job for the most part. And it's just really, really nice to work at. And I mean, I've worked at theaters too, where it's the exact same way. Like I just have some of the best friends in the world at uh, theaters that I've worked at. For instance, uh, 574 Theater that I worked at is one of just the best places I've ever worked for. It's filled with a bunch of my really close friends now that I made last summer while working there, and a lot of good memories were formed there. Um, yeah, I'm actually auditioning for them next Saturday. This, this upcoming Saturday, actually. So, yeah, uh, not a long video. Um, just talking about how important it is to feel valued at a place that you work and going out of your way too to make it so Panera has this thing where they they say it's the everyday oasis and I like to extend that to the back of the house too I want to make it an everyday oasis for not only me but for everyone I'm working with I think that is the most important thing is taking care of your fellow employees because I mean there are days where everyone just as like, oh, it's a, it's a struggle to get out of bed and go to work. But if you have employees that care about each other and you have managers that care about the employees and employees that care about the manager's well-being, it just, it creates such an atmosphere of health and it, it loses all the toxic things that have happened at old jobs that I worked at. Tell me good stories about things that that work really well, things that your managers do that you would like to see implemented everywhere else. Um, for instance, Panera has a, a very good system of moving up. Like I started as an associate and now I'm a trainer. Um, and then after trainer, you move up to so on and so forth and higher and higher until you get to manager. Um, I'm not really shooting for manager. I kind of like being trainer and staying there. So I like where I am. I like going to work. I love going to school and doing theater. I love going to theaters all over the country and getting to do theater. It's just, it's really important to not only love the work that you're doing, but to also love the place that you're doing your work at. Go out and foster some healthy attitudes, even if your work doesn't. I'll see you guys next time. Constantinople. My strange addiction.
Megan. Three friends watch my strange addiction. Three friends eating a big stir fry. The math's all there. It should line up. I dropped out. Don't take me about math.